welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, it was all over the media, the news, social media, TMZ, who we can thank for these videos that have flooded the internet. Of Jonathan Majors breaking up a fight between two high schoolers who he'd happened to see getting into it while he was at an in and out burger from across the street. Now, I can't play the whole video on here, and I wouldn't even if I could because it's graphic. You know, it's not as bad, of course, as it could be, but it's two kids swinging at each other for no real good reason. And it's real sad and pathetic, the society that we live in, not just with the adults, but the young teens even who will stand by and watch their fellow classmates just rip each other apart, beat the brakes off of each other, if you will, and just laugh and record. It's really sad and really pitiful and pathetic. They learn this culture culture from the people who came before them. This is the age of social media and it's used in the worst way possible most of the time. Like I said, it's real sad and pathetic. Those kids were standing there and laughing and please miss me with the, oh, well, why would you ask them to get involved? They didn't have to start swinging too if that's not what they wanted to do. I actually wouldn't have wanted them to do that. The smarter and better, more humane thing to do would be go get an adult. But no, like I said, them raggedy kids just stood there and they laughed while these kids were tearing each other completely apart. Their parents should be ashamed of them. They should be ashamed of themselves. Now, it was good that he came and he interrupted the fight because, like I said, it didn't look like anybody was going to do anything else. You know, it was dangerous of him because he could have got beat up. He could have got jumped. They could have decided, well, wait a minute. Are you trying to stop us from fighting? How about we fight you instead? Loki, he probably did take a few hits, probably because they did start trying to kick the fighting back up again even after he tried to separate them but like i said at least somebody did something now the tabloids were trying to claim or allege this was a pr stunt because allegedly his court date for you know what happened with his ex-girlfriend and the whole dv dispute that he had although it looked real to me i'm gonna be real honest that's just me my personal carnal eyes saying what i see it looked real to me for them to immediately come out and slam him and say that, you know, it was fake. It was a PR stunt to make him look better for the trial that he's got, like I said, allegedly tomorrow. I don't know. And I could be wrong. You know, I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong in the future because I'm only human. But I just think that, I don't know, like I said to me, it didn't seem like it was fake. It seemed pretty real to me. Now, whether it was a hoax or heroic stunt, you know that Twitter, especially black Twitter, X if you will, they're going to clown. Either way it goes, everything, every time, they're going to clown. There have been people posting all kind of stuff, like this one talking about, this is what Jonathan Majors thought that he was doing out here. Going out here to stop the youth from destroying themselves. And the funny part about this is with that hat that he had on, he really did look like Mr. Evans from Good Times. But anyways, then you had somebody who used emojis, if you will, gave us an emoji rendition of what he did. And why does it look exactly like how he walked off and how he walked on with that hat on? I mean, he looks exactly like these emojis, like no joke, for real, he does. Then somebody had the audacity to say he thought he pulled a Michael Jackson from the Beat It music video. Would have been nice if that's how the fight actually ended, but like I said, at least he tried. Then somebody took it upon themselves to post a nice little skit to Twitter, to X, if you will. Y'all just have a look at this real fast. God, it was look fucking real, god damn it. You kids have been so nasty to me lately. I had to do something. How'd you make it? It's a company, Street Sets. It's a warehouse downtown. They've got different street scene sets. It's pointless now, because you don't think it's real, because you could tell it's an old man. Stop my yeah. Fucking Street Sets. I paid 15K for this. Like I said before, Twitter clowns every time, all the time, over everything. Hopefully the trial goes smoothly and it goes the way it's supposed to and justice is properly served to the person who is the victim in this situation. Like I said before, I did try to maintain a neutral stance. Quite frankly, I don't know what to believe anymore because all the stuff that has come out, all I can say is whoever is innocent, I hope to God that they are the ones proven innocent and that this can be laid to rest. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think of all this and how y'all feel down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed, beautiful, and safe day.